<coughs> hey guys. So, uh, I just finished a video. I'm relaying videos, y'all. I'm pre-recording. So that's why my next few videos I'm gonna have this band-aid on my finger. <laughs> okay. Just went to Walmart. I know I, like, I am, like, the reboot's biggest up opposer. Like, I am so against it, but what did you do? Hello, Abby. I'm sorry, but I've betrayed you. What do you mean you've betrayed Abby? Oh my god, Frankie, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I need to fix- Abby, you can look now. These dolls resemble Abby. But Abby knows that they are not Abby. What is purpose of you buying these? Oh, they were- Well, this one you see right here was $7, and this one was $4. This one was also 4 Abby does not care about that one. It was 4 bucks. Is it staying in box or being unboxed? I'm probably gonna leave it in the box. Well, okay, good. It is ugly. Put it in closet next to your sexuality where it belongs. What? Well, Abby's allowed to make jokes like that. And how did you... Abby knows everything. And so, you are going to be opening these two? Yeah. Abby does not approve of them. Abby does not like them. They look nothing like Abby. They are ugly. They are very ugly. Do not like their faces. They probably don't even have Abby's voice. Do not give them the honor. Of having Abby's voice. Are you done? Yes, you can do whatever you want. Abby's going to go over here and think about her life. Kiyomi, you better go with her. Fine. So yes, this one's going in the closet. I'm gonna put her over here so I don't forget. As for these two, I think in this video I'm going to review this Abby. Yes, in my next one she will be reviewed, so stay tuned for that. Oh lord. Honestly, reboot reviews are kind of fun sometimes because I get to talk about what I like and what I don't like. Meanwhile, the dolls, the other dolls, it's just talking about what I like because I adore the original Monster High. So much. That took a while. I keep forgetting I can't tap anything with this finger. Anyway, let us look at this imposter Abby in the box. Don't do my voice. Sorry. So down here it says Abby Bombable, but that's a lie. This is not Abby. Party ghouls. Wow, they really ran out of line ideas. Just straight up party ghouls. The packaging's okay, I guess. It's just kind of square. So on the back, there is actually some pretty nicely done art. This looks just like her basic wave profile art. Let me just... I have Abby's box. Oh man, sorry, Gulia. Move over. One moment. So here's Abby's first wave box, which I kind of ripped up a little. I regret it. So, um... Yep, pretty similar. So at least they still have the same artist. Oh man. This is how old she is. She's from this wave. And I got her in the box. Missing her pet. And diary. Whatever. Oh god, I don't feel good. I'll unbox her in a moment. I need to- I need to go, like, throw up or something. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Let's review her. No, wait, we already did that. What? <laughs> okay, I forgot to unbox her. One moment. I don't know what that was. Anyway, we got Abby and Kiyomi over here shaming. Kiyomi's more shocked that there are more Abbies, because, you know, it's bad enough she has to deal with one, but now she has to deal with, like, seven. Ten. Eleven. Thirty-five. <coughs> So she came with all these little things. Did I lose some? No. There's three pink ones and two purple ones, right? And then there's the big purple one, yeah. Yeah. So this one arguably goes up here. <sighs> okay, those things are actually kind of hard to get in. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that back out unless I like rip these things off of her head with it. Anyway, let's actually look over the doll. So she actually has a pretty nice dress, although the print doesn't go all the way around. Um, this feels like ribbon. I think it's just a satin-like material. She has this really nice belt and shoulder thing going on. I think it's one piece and then this is like fur. Yeah. I really 
like the rose print flower butterfly naturey looking thing. Then she's got this little thing called a shiver purse. I don't know if it's supposed to be her pet shiver, but it doesn't look like shiver. My least favorite part of this doll is the face. And the fangs look kind of small too, but we'll get into her face later. Um, her hair is pretty thin, but I do like that the purple and the blue goes all the way around. It's up here and down here. So that's pretty nice, but there is no tinsel present in her hair. So that's sad. Her boots are a pretty nice solid blue, although they're more of like a transparent-ish blue. And this purse is actually kind of cute. Let me just uh, fix its butterfly. Hold it. Yeah. I really do hate the molded on fur. Like, it's really not something Abby ever needed. Like, it just looks like she hasn't shaved in a while. <laughs> um, so the other Abbeys, they're kind of like for face comparison. Like, you can see that the original Abby had a much um, more serious expression to her. Her eyebrows were, like, much darker. They actually made her seem kind of, like, mad. And then her, she's like, I'm scared, please don't hurt me. Also, have you guys heard Abby's new voice? Sounds like they're trying way too hard to sound like that, Abby. They're trying too hard to sound like this, and it ends up making them... And it ends up making them sound like this. Like they are obviously trying too hard. You know? It doesn't sound right. And then there is the original Abby's voice, which is very fun to do, very easy. And if you are a master at Abby's voice like I am... Just kidding, I'm not a master. <laughs> But if you are good at Abby's voice like I am, then it is very fun to do the original Abby's voice. No Abby can die. Anyway, let's get some of these things on her. She has two holes on her boots, but I just stuck them in the top one so that they're even. I stuck one of the things there. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other two, though. But they're actually kind of hard to get in. So Mattel obviously didn't make this for kids. I don't know who they made this for. I don't know what their target age range was, but... Kids will not have fun hurting themselves putting those things on the dolls. <sighs> My deepest breath ever. So, this Abby isn't half bad. I just really miss the original Abby. You know? The original Abbeys had much better faces. And then they didn't have molded on fur. But they have the same hands, so it's nice to see that they kept the hand mold. You know, I could probably take this mess, I could probably take this hand from her, or from this one, and give it to my, um, I've been switching my Abby's hands around like crazy, because uh, I Heart Fashion came with a messed up one from holding her phone for all these years. So, you know, I've been switching them around so Abby can have a normal hand. Abby deserves only the best hands. <coughs> I think that voice is the reason my throat still hurts. Okay. So... I actually don't know what else I can really say about this doll because she's pretty basic. Although I do like the outfit. I appreciate the amount of effort that was put into making her actually look like Abby, kind of. I just wish she had a normal face. Anyway, this video's gone on for way too long, so I don't know if I did an outro already. I'm gonna end it right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>